States. We turn now to Democratic Congressman Jared Moskowitz of Florida. Congressman, thanks so much uh, for being with us today. So we've now heard from a handful of Democrats, from David Axelrod uh, to Congresswoman uh, Jayapal uh, to obviously Dean Phillips, who's running against Biden in the primaries, all expressing concern about Biden's run in 2024, especially after the latest poll numbers. Um, do you share those concerns? I don't share those concerns. Now, look, I think we should look at the poll. We've got to get into the data, and we can figure out how we need to improve our, our messaging. Because I do think we have a messaging issue in that we've got to continue to feed the beast every single solitary day. I mean, one of the things we learned is that Donald Trump was on TV a lot. He got a lot of interviews in the, in the last election. And because of that, people just saw him and got his name ID out. Not that Joe Biden didn't have good name ID. But Trump is on TV every single solitary day now, three times a day, four times a day sometimes. We're seeing it played over and over. Joe Biden's got to get out there. We got to get our surrogates out there because we do have to message not just the young people. We have to explain what Donald Trump is going to do if he returns. I mean, there, I just read an article of the 18 things Donald Trump would do if, when he comes back. Some of them are just outrageous, like de starting to deport people, Muslim bans all over again. I mean, it's just absolutely lunacy. One of the key uh, issues um, to historically motivated uh, voters is the economy. And while the numbers on jobs and spending, even inflation, are, are much improved. More than half of those polled by the New York Times Siena College said the current economic conditions are poor. Uh, I mean, that's a threat to Democrats, especially to Biden. It is. It is. We can't tell people the economy is good or things are getting better if they don't feel it. If, if at, you go to the grocery store, food's more expensive. Gas is more expensive than they remember it, even while it's coming down. And so these are things that are affecting people's lives. Rent is more expensive, right? Doing anything right now is more expensive because of inflation. This is still the period outside of COVID when we saw things just skyrocket. They went up super quick and they're coming down much slower, right? And we got to explain to people all the things that President Biden has done to help that along. But yeah, no, pe people still don't necessarily feel it. Uh, there's no doubt about that. We got to talk to them. Uh, your fellow House Democrat Congresswoman uh, Rashida Tlaib uh, of Michigan uh, is accusing Joe Biden, President Biden, of supporting a genocide in Gaza. Uh, and she said, um, from the river to the sea, um, she ex tried to explain this on Twitter, what that call means. Um, she's obviously Palestinian-American. She said, quote, from the river to the sea is an aspiration call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence, not death, destruction, or hate, unquote. Um, I know there are a lot of people who disagree that that's what uh, from the river to the sea means, given the fact that there are extremists, especially terrorists like Hamas, who use that phrase to mean from the river to the sea, destroy Israel. Um, what's your view of what Congresswoman Tlaib is saying? Well, first of all, we don't disagree. There, some debates don't have two sides. From the river to the sea means the destruction of Israel and everyone who's in it. Okay, just like Mein Kampf is not a coloring book, and the final solution means exactly what Hitler meant it mean from the river to the sea is calling for the destruction of an entire country, period, full stop. Uh, and so look, the Congresswoman has a First Amendment right. She can say whatever she wants. But at the same time, Congress has the ability to express their displeasure with a fellow colleague of ours calling for the destruction of a country. What if we had someone going around saying France should be wiped off the map? I mean, we would, we would think that's outrageous, but somehow from the river to the sea is debatable. It is another ridiculous double standard when it comes to Israel. Um, she also said uh, Biden is supporting a genocide in Gaza. Well, listen, let's not be cavalier. There's a lot of suffering going on in Gaza. But if Israel wanted to commit a genocide, there'd be 500,000 people who are dead. Right? They have the military to do that, is what I'm saying. Right? But that's not the case. Not only that, she's using numbers that are given to her by Hamas. By the way, Hamas also doesn't differentiate in the 10,000 people that they say have been killed there. They don't differentiate between Hamas fighters and civilians. They lump them all together. Right? And so listen, there is absolutely tremendous suffering in Gaza. There is absolutely civilians that have been killed. And there have been kids that have been caught in this. And that's Hamas's fault. Hamas knew Israel would have an overwhelming response. Now, I support humanitarian aid. I support pauses to get the hostages out. But there could be no ceasefire uh, with, with Hamas. Instead, we should be calling for Hamas to surrender. How about that? How about we call for the terrorist organization to surrender instead of a country like Israel defending its people? It sounds like you're contemplating supporting a censure resolution against her if there were one. I assume you voted against the one that Marjorie Taylor Greene... Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene brought up a censure having to do with an insurrection. And let's not... Let's be no, of course, it was not an insurrection. Uh, it was not an insurrection. And, and October 7th should not be conflated with any other date on the right. calendar. So 
But if there were one that was more about what she said that I just read, that's something you would support. If a censure comes on her misinformation on the hospital bombing, which obviously we know was not true, that she continued to spread even after intelligence came out, it wasn't true, and on from the river to the sea, I would support that censure. Congressman uh, Jared uh, Moskowitz, Democrat from Florida, thanks so much for being with us.